Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hope you all are doing well. It's been quite a while since I've done a video and it's been very naughty of me. <laughs> but um, yes, again, just been really busy and I just feel like I shouldn't make excuses because maybe I've not been that busy. I could have squeezed this in, but I shouldn't make any excuses. I should be doing this more because I enjoy it and it's like a little hobby of mine so hopefully I do do more videos <laughs> I shall see but yeah today but the thing is I have been going to car boots but I just haven't been recording any videos because I don't know it's just been like taking me longer to record the videos and go to the car boots so I've still been like thrifting and selling stuff but I've just not been doing my videos on YouTube you know but anyway here I am I'm back Lola's back she's just right there <laughs> so um Today, me and Lola are going to be going to the York Racecourse car boot. I've not been there in a while. I wasn't even sure if I was going to go today, to be honest, because the weather forecast said it was going to rain. But I checked it this morning and it says that it's not going to rain. So fingers crossed. So yeah, just going to make our way to York Racecourse car boot and see what sort of bargains they have around there. And I'll share my little adventure with you guys. So stay tuned. Okay, so I've just got parked and the sun's out a little bit, so it's definitely not going to rain. But I've just drove past the car boot on my way in and there's like hardly any stalls. <laughs> it is the smallest I've seen it in a while. I feel like last time I came here, which was like at the beginning of summer, um, I'll link the video here or whichever side it is, it was like packed. It was like two different plots of grass and then the parking went like all the way back. But this time I've managed to literally park right in front of the boot sale and it looks like there's only like what, three or four rows. But anyway, I'll show you guys how big it is. Fingers crossed I find some good stuff. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So I'm back in the car now um, because the car boot was really small. I don't think I was there very long at all. Probably like, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, let's just turn on my car and see what time it is. It's only 9.30. <laughs> so yeah, Oh, got the Prodigy on. So let's just turn that off. I just find it, I don't know why, but I really like driving like with the Prodigy on when I'm on my own. I just feel like it gives this like nice, vibe and I like to drive a bit faster <laughs> or I don't know it's just all about prodigy being on my own I just really like it um yeah the car boot was really small um but still even though it was really small I feel like I still got some quite good stuff um not much but I got some shoes I got some joggers some clothes um so I'm just gonna make my way home and I'll show you guys what I got all right, so I'm back at home now and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got and how much I paid for them. So I've got this Ikea bag here. I got given this when I bought the book, the shoes that came with the boxes. So I'm just gonna start off with the shoes that I got. So my first item, I got some Air Forces. These were £2.50. They're in fairly decent condition. See there. They also came with the box. It's the original box because they're a size four. And in here they're also a size four. So yeah, two pounds fifty for these and they've come with the boxes. With the boxes, the box. So yeah, two pounds fifty for these and they come with the box. Next item is another pair of shoes. These are some Supergas. I've bought a few pairs of Supergas before and they've sold pretty well, but I've not had this design before. I actually think they look pretty cool, you know? Like, I would definitely 
probably <laughs> wear these to work or something like if they were my size they're brand new never been worn there's still that like plastic thing in there and I like the thick wedges on them as well I think I don't know shoes that have like quite thick wedges are quite in fashion right now aren't they I would definitely keep these for myself if they were in my size but sadly they are a size UK 37 so that's like a size 4 as well but yeah pretty good because they're brand new as well in the original box I paid £2.50 for these as well what are they called? I saw the make of them, like the shape of them or whatever. They're called Superga S00 DQ S0. So that's the style that those ones are. So yeah, I think they look really cute. Um, so pretty happy with that find. Would have been happier if they were my size. And then next, I'll go to the next pair of shoes I got are some Pumas. So I thought these ones look really cute as well. I tried them on, that's why the laces are like not tied up on this one. So that's them. Not sure what they're called. Puma Summit. Puma. What shape are these called? I'm not even sure. Cali WNs are they called? Cali Woods? Woods? Oh, here's the exact ones. I found them here on ASOS. Here we are. So they're on ASOS there, they're originally £70, on ASOS they have been discounted to £50 at the moment, if you can see. And they're called Puma Cali WN, or Wins Trainers in Black, so that's them ones. Pretty decent condition as well. Another shame because I probably would have kept these, <laughs> like I would have kept either the Supergirls or these if either of them were my size. To be fair, these do fit me, they're a size 5, but they're just a little bit tight, so they're EUR38 UK size 5, and I paid £2.50 for these as well, and they came in the box. So yeah, pretty happy with them as well. And then next off, this is not much, I just got this like bag, it was only 20p, so I thought, I don't know, it's just something to put my shopping in, so that's just something I just kind of got. And then I got these Nike joggers, there's a bit of a, a mark. I don't know if you can see it there, but I'm going to see if it comes out in the wash. Tiny little um, hole there, can't really see it. But apart from that, all good, it's a size M, and I paid £2 for these. And then lastly, my last item is this Nike, what is it even called? I don't know. I suppose it's a sweatshirt maybe, a uh, v-neck sweatshirt. Um, there's a there's a hockey sign on it there. Thought this looked pretty cool. Looks quite retro and edgy, I suppose. It's a size XL. I still need to wash it, so I'll give that a wash and try it on later. But that's what it looks like. <laughs> I'm quite happy with this find. I paid two pounds for it, and I'll have a little look at how much this might be worth um, with the hockey signs on it um, and it being Nike. A uh, funny thing is I went to a car boot last week, or I think the week before, and I bought some hockey ice skates. Not like I'll ever go ice skating anytime soon, and I don't even play hockey, but I just bought them because they were a fiver, and I just thought I'd just try them out, whack them on eBay, see how much I might get. They're quite funny really, because I got those hockey ice skates the other week, and then obviously this is like a hockey sweatshirt to like match it. Um, those skates were like Nike as well. I've not managed to list those hockey ice skates yet, but I will get to it at some point, <laughs> whatever that will be. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this week's car boot. Um, it was really small, you know, so I'm actually really happy with what I found for the size of it. You know, you never know, sometimes car boots can be small, but you still find some good stuff. You never know, so I'm still happy with that. If you guys are keen to see how much I sell some of these products for, I'll upload some videos later and let you know what they sell for. So I'll say that's about it for this week's video. If you guys liked it, then give me a like. And if you wanna see any more, give me a subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. All right, so, <laughs> oh my God, it's been a while. Welcome back to my channels, channels. Are they just called Callies?
I'm just looking on Google, I'm not even sure. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm just going to call them Callies, I suppose. 